Welcome to Prissy Anto Educational Academy, Chennai 71. Find the Fourier series for f of x is equal to 1 by 2 into pi minus x. In the interval 0, 2 pi and deduce 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus etc. which is equal to pi divided by 4. Already in the Fourier series problem number 1 I have solved the Fourier series for f of x is equal to x square. So it's available in the previous videos. So now we are going to solve given function f of x is equal to 1 by 2 into pi minus x in the interval 0, 2 pi. First, you have to write the Fourier series formula. Fourier series f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. You have to find the value of a naught, a n, b n because this is a full range Fourier series. So a naught is equal to 1 divided by pi integral over the limit 0 to 2 pi f of x dx. What is f of x? That is given in the problem 1 by 2 into pi minus x. So which is equal to 1 by pi integral over the limit 0 to 2 pi f of x is 1 by 2 into pi minus x into dx which is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral over the limit 0 to 2 pi into pi minus x into dx 1 by 2 pi you have to integrate pi minus x there are two ways one is pi minus x whole square divided by minus 2. That is also you can write. Or else pi into dx will be pi constant. Integral dx will be x. So pi x minus x dx. x dx if we are integrating x square by 2. The limit is 0 to 2 pi. So 1 divided by 2 pi. Pi x is 2 pi. So pi into 2 pi minus x square is 2 pi whole square which is equal to 4 pi square divided by 2. If you apply the lower limit 0, both term will become 0. So 1 by 2 pi, pi into 2 pi, 2 pi square minus 2 pi whole square, 4 pi square divided by 2. 4 pi square divided by 2 is 2 pi square. So 1 divided by 2 pi, 2 pi square minus 2 pi square. Answer is 0. So a naught is equal to 0. Next, you have to find the value of a n. a n is equal to 1 divided by pi integral over the limit 0 to 2 pi f of x cos n x dx. So, in the next step, you can write 1 by pi, 1 divided by pi integral over the limit 0 to 2 pi 1 by 2 into because f of x is 1 by 2 into pi minus x cos n x dx which is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral over the limit 0 to 2 pi pi minus x into cos nx dx. There are two terms. Whenever in the integral there are two terms, you have to use the Bernoulli's formula. When we will use the Bernoulli's formula, in the two terms, one should be polynomial that means x x square x cube suppose if there is e power x you cannot use the bernoulli's formula e power x into cos n x we cannot use the bernoulli's formula so integral u v dx this is the bernoulli's formula which is equal to u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 okay minus u triple dash v4 plus etc what is u is equal to pi minus x v is equal to cos nx u dash pi minus x if we are differentiating pi if we are differentiating 0 x if we are differentiating minus x is differentiating 1 but there is minus so minus 1 u double dash 0 1 if we are differentiating 0 v is equal to cos nx v1 is equal to cos nx if we are integrating sin nx by n v2 is equal to 
sin n x by n if we are differentiating minus cos n x by n square. Therefore, apply in the formula. So the formula is arrow mark. You can see u v one, u v one. The formula, Bernoulli's formula, minus u dash v two. So a n is equal to one divided by two pi. Pi minus x because u v one. Pi minus x is sin n x by n minus minus one u dash v two is minus cos n x by n square. Limit is zero to two pi. So one divided by two pi. Pi minus x into sin n x by n minus cos n x by n square. Limit is zero to two pi. So wherever x is the wherever x you have to apply two pi first upper limit. Wherever x minus the lower limit, you have to apply zero. So first we will apply for x two pi upper limit. So one divided by two pi, pi minus two pi sine two n pi sine two n pi divided by n minus cos two pi means two n pi divided by n square minus zero. You have to apply pi minus zero sine zero by n. Minus cos zero by n square, so sine two n pi zero, cos two n pi one, cos zero one, sine zero zero. So in the result I have written here. So sine two n pi, sine two n pi zero, sine zero zero, cos two n pi one, cos zero zero. So using these values, one by two pi minus one by n square. Plus one by n square, so a n value is equal to zero. So a not zero, a n zero. B n value we have to find. B n is equal to the same rule: one divided by pi integral over the limit zero to two pi f of x sine n x dx. One divided by pi integral over the limit zero to two pi f of x sine n x into dx. Instead of f of x, you have to write one by two into pi minus x. Into sine n x dx, so one by two, one by pi can be written as one divided by two pi. Integral over the limit zero to two pi, pi minus x sine n x dx. Again, we have to use the Bernoulli's formula. So one is in polynomial. So integral u v dx is equal to u v one minus u dash v two plus u double dash v three minus u triple dash v four plus etc. So u is equal to pi minus x, v is equal to sine n x, u dash is equal to pi minus x means pi if we are differentiating zero minus x if we are differentiating minus one, u double dash both are constant zero minus one minus one so it will become zero if we are differentiating minus one. So v is equal to sine n x, v one is equal to you have to integrate it to sine n x if we are integrating sine n x we will get to minus cos n x by n. Minus cos n x by n. If you're differentiating again, you will get minus sine n x by n square. Arrow mark you can see. So using the Bernoulli's formula, one divided by two pi u v one. U is pi minus x. V one is minus cos n x by n. Minus formula minus u dash zero minus one minus one v two minus sine n x by n square. Limit is zero to two pi. So for x you have to apply upper limit two pi minus for x you have to apply the lower limit zero. So one divided by two pi minus of pi minus two pi cos two n pi divided by n minus sine two n pi divided by n square. So minus of minus pi minus zero cos zero by n minus sine zero by n square sine two n pi zero sine zero zero cos zero one cos two n pi one. So cos two n by cos zero will be one. So one divided by two pi, cos two n by one, pi minus two pi, minus pi. Already there is minus sign. So minus of minus pi will become plus pi. So pi by n plus pi divided by n, which is equal to one divided by two pi into two pi divided by n. Two pi divided by two pi cancelled. So answer is one by n. This is b n. B n value is equal to one by n. After getting the value of b n, we have to substitute in the okay Fourier series. Fourier series is a not zero, a n zero. Only we are getting b n value. 
So f of x is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity because a naught a n 0. 1 by n sin n x. What is f of x? 1 by 2 pi minus x. It is given in the problem, which is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity, 1 by n into sin n x. By taking x equal to pi by 2. Why I am taking x equal to pi by 2? Because summation 1 by n sin n x. Suppose if we are taking x equal to 0 means sin 0, 0. So we cannot deduce anything. So that's why I am taking sin n x. If we are taking x equal to pi by 2, suppose the sin pi by 2 will become 1. That's why I am taking x equal to pi by 2. This is also one of the methods. So by taking x equal to pi by 2, so 1 by 2, pi minus x for x pi by 2, pi minus pi by 2, which is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity, 1 by n, sin n pi by 2. Now the left hand side is 1 by 2, pi minus pi by 2, pi by 2, pi by 2 into 1 by 2, pi by 4, which is equal to, for n, you have to apply 1 to infinity, first 1, 2, 3, 4 up to infinity. So for n, first I apply 1, so 1 by 1, sin 1 pi by 2, pi by 2, plus for n, you have to apply 2. So 1 by 2, sin 2 pi by 2, plus 1 by 3, sin 3 pi by 2, plus 1 by 4, sin 4 pi by 2, plus 1 by 5, sin 5 pi by 2, plus etc. So pi by 4 left hand side, which is equal to sin pi by 2, 1. Sin 2 pi by 2, 2, 2 cancel, sin 5, sin pi 0. 1 by 3 sin 3 pi by 2. 3 pi by 2 will become minus 1. So minus 1 by 3. Sin 4 pi by 2 will become 0. Sin 5 pi by 2 plus 1. So 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus 1 by 9, etc. So pi by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus etc. So thank you.